What's up, everybody? How you guys doing? Welcome to today's podcast. This is episode 23, and today we're going to switch it up a little bit. We're going to do a reading practice. So what I'm going to need you guys to do, if you can, if it's possible, in the show notes, in the description, I have the link to the story that we're going to read today, okay? So if you're able, you can read along with me because this story is on the website that we're going to read along with, okay? These are stories that I make, so please, guys, focus on the words and the vocabulary, not so much of the story. The story is a little bit wacky. Wacky means kind of like crazy, strange, but it's okay. We're just here to improve our pronunciation and see if the words on this text are easy for you guys to understand and if you guys can understand and build your vocabulary with this story okay so this is a story that i made and a lot of people like this story especially the people from china because it pretty much talks about the problems or some problems it touches on some problems that people have in china due to them pursuing their dreams okay so this story is called george pursues his dreams So if you're ready, we're going to begin, all right? So George pursues his dream. Remember, guys, click in the show notes so that you have access to the story. George pursues his dream. George was born in China, and his parents had always dreamed of him becoming a mechanical engineer. They had worked hard to ensure that he had the best education so that he could pursue a successful career in engineering. Although George had an interest in engineering, his true passion was music. He was an up-and-coming rapper and had recorded one album on his own. He dreamed of performing around the world and sharing his music with the world. However, his parents were not supportive of his musical aspirations. They wanted him to stay in China, get a degree in engineering, and pursue a secure job. George was frustrated by his parents' lack of acceptance of his passion, but he respected them and tried to stay focused on his studies. He felt trapped between his parents' expectations and his own dreams, so he called his friend Juice and asked what to do. Juice told him, you have to go after your dreams, playboy. George's parents had been trying to get George to focus more on his schoolwork, and they were worried that music was taken away from his studies. They forbade George from playing music and told him that if he didn't focus on his studies, there would be consequences. George was torn between his parents' expectations and his own desires. But Juice's words inspired him to take control of his own destiny and follow his dreams of playing music. He wanted to prove to his parents that he would become a successful rapper. George's parents weren't convinced that music was the right choice for their son. But Juice's words gave George the courage to stand up for himself. He decided to take a risk and pursue his music career, even if his parents were not in favor of it. Now he was flunking out of school and putting in long hours at the studio, determined to prove them wrong. His parents eventually grow frustrated with his behavior and decide to kick him out of the house. Despite this, George was not deterred and continued to invest all of his energy into the music career he had chosen. In a bad spot and homeless, George asks Juice if he can move in with him as he pursues his dreams. But Juice says, heck no. So he lives in his car, writes songs, works a part-time job, and goes to the studio. Now he is awake. With his back against the wall, George did not give up on his dreams. He eventually writes a hit song called What a Bird and I Hate Juice. He eventually caught the attention of a few record labels labels, and was soon signed. George quickly rose to fame and started releasing hit songs. His parents were so proud of his success and celebrated his accomplishments with him. He told his parents, told you so. And then Juice comes and says, hey, George, remember me? And George responds, heck no. Juris goes on to make a lot of money and dates nothing but dimes. 
All right. So that was the story, guys. Let me know what you think. Was it understand? So, guys, let's look at a few words. Actually, guys, if you're on the podcast, a podcast, you're going to see some words. I'm going to say what paragraph they are. But also, this is going to be on YouTube. I'm going to leave the link for the YouTube as well so that you can watch the video, okay? But we're going to look at this first paragraph and see if there's any words that we might not know, okay? So let me just take a look. Uh, let's look at this word right here. It's the second sentence of the first paragraph. Ensure. What does the word ensure mean? Do you guys know what the word ensure means? Ensure means to make certain, to make sure, to secure. So I'm gonna give you a sentence. The client must ensure that all of the records are kept correctly. Okay. I will ensure you that if you listen to my podcast, you're going to improve your English. Okay. To ensure. All right, let's go to the second paragraph and see if there's any words that we don't know. We might. So in the second paragraph, let's see if we can look at some words for pronunciation. Mm, if you're checking first sentence, second sentence, third sentence. Okay, this word right here, I have it highlighted. How would we pronounce this word right here? This word, a lot of people get this word pronounced incorrectly. And this pronunciation, the correct pronunciation is focused. Focused, right? Focused, not focused, but focused. This word right here, fourth sentence, third word. Trapped. He felt trapped between his parents' expectations and his own dreams. What does the word trapped mean when you're trapped? Do you guys know? When you're trapped, it's difficult for you to make a decision. So he felt trapped between his parents' expectations and his own dreams. Should he become an engineer or should he go after his dreams and become a rapper? All right, next word, guys, is this word right here. Second sentence, second word, forbade. Do you guys know what this word forbade means? Forbade is the past tense verb of forbid. And I'm sure you guys might know what the word forbid means. It's to refuse to allow something. So they forbade me to not take off my mask on the plane. So keep the mask on the plane, they forbade me in past tense. All right, so that's forbade. So the next word, guys, is deterred. Deterred or deter to deter means to discourage someone from doing something by putting doubt or fear in someone's mind to do something. So despite this, George was not discouraged, essentially, from continuing to invest all of his time and energy into his music. So this didn't stop him from continuing to do this, what his dreams were. So that's what that means, deterred. All right, and then we're gonna stop with this last one. This is a slang. George goes on to make, slot, make a lot of money and dates nothing but dimes. When you date a dime or a dime is a girl who's very beautiful. She's 
like a model. So I could say, oh man, that girl is a dime. So she's a 10 out of 10 because the dime is 10 cents in American money. In American currency is 10 cents. So if something is 10 out of 10, that means it's perfect. So he dates nothing but dimes. Yeah. So I hope you guys like this. Hopefully you guys like the story as well about George pursuing his dreams. I like when people, I like stories like this because it makes people want to do their dreams and know that, you know, at the end of the day, you should pursue what you want to do instead of, you know, living your life for other people. You know, some people think that's good or bad, but I, in my opinion, I think going after your dreams and pursuing your dreams is the way to go. And this was a good story, I think, with George becoming a successful rapper and, you know, accomplishing his dreams, guys. So hopefully you guys like this pod, this reading episode, and I'm going to see you in the next one. Peace.